Hey, so do you guys know what today is? Now don't feel bad if you don't, I honestly expect none of you to, except for maybe one of you. 5 Minute Sneaker TV is probably well aware that August 15th happens to be Korea Liberation Day. I found that out yesterday, I think it was. Anyway, so that happened today, and for that, to celebrate that this time around, they brought back a past Adidas release. So last year was the 30th anniversary of the 1988 Olympics, which happened to be in Seoul. And so they had released these Klima Ultra Boost Seoul things, right? These shoes right here in this box, and what you saw on the thumbnail. So, since they were coming back out, and I heard about it thanks to uh, Brown Eyed Soul on Instagram, I went ahead and got a pair with no work whatsoever. Showed up super early thinking, okay, maybe this is going to be like a big release because it sounded like it should be. I was up there with, uh, with Filthy Sneak, well, actually Philosophical nowadays, with him. Got there, I got there probably like 8, he was there initially like 6, and long story short, a very rainy morning, and nobody else showed up except us, and then one other dude showed up to buy the shoes like as we were leaving the store. So, mostly a wasted morning, but kind of not, because I did get these. So, let's, uh, let's talk about these, shall we? Oh, receipt, right? So, in case you're curious. These were 249,000 of the finest Korean won, which comes out to roughly $205 in, you know, United States dollars. So, not a bad price, not at all. So, let's uh, open this. It's kind of a cool little box they have going on here. So, it's kind of got this like little folding out top thing going on. It's new to me, I've never seen that. And then on the inside, you've got that labeled paper, kind of like what I showed you on my Ultra Boost 2019s, I want to say. I didn't get a good look at these in the store because I figured I'd do it when I got them and got home and stuff. So here we are. We'll discover them together. Okay, here is the first pair, or first shoe of the pair. It's the left, or the right one, and then here we have the left one. So, let's move this box over here in front of little HBK and John Cena. So, these are, as I said, these aren't like just your standard Ultra Boost. These are the Climas, which are a little thinner from what I've been told. I never bought any of the Climas initially because I just didn't like the colors that they made for the most part. And I had so many Ultra Boosts already. But they're supposed to be a lot thinner and more breathable, which is not saying a whole, which, well, it does kind of say a lot because I never thought that the previous Ultra Boosts were really all that thick and not breathable. But these, I mean, just looking at them, they're, they're also more see-through than the others as far as, you know, seeing through the knit. So maybe that's where it all comes from. But anyways, well, I'll get into that when I do this on foot, potentially. So anyways, here we go, right? This is, like I said, this is the left one, this is the right one. <sighs> it's review time. So, again, people, this right here is the Ultra Boost Clima 1988 Soul release, right? So, these, what you're going to find here is very much a plain, plain shoe. So it's pretty much all white, as you can see. Outsole is white, but minus this little pinkish color. Midsole is white because most boost is white. Upper is white because why not, right? And then there's a white outline on the, uh, on the cage there with black on the inside. Kind of goes with what you would see on the Korean flag if you're familiar with that. Maybe I'll put a picture in there, maybe I won't. We'll see what happens. And then on the heel cups you have red, on this one you have blue, because again, that's how the flag looks. Anyways, moving forward here, on the top of the tongue, the only other real detail on this shoe, for the most part, you have the Korean flag circle that's in the middle there, kind of like a yin, yin and yang sort of deal, but slightly different because it's not black and white. Now, also, I'm going to throw it in there, I don't know a lot about the history of Korea, if you do, Go ahead and comment that down in the comments section. I'll pin it, and then everybody else can know what you know. Just be first, okay? Because if you're not first, you're last. At least that's what I've heard. Anyways, so there you go. You have this, and this happens to be 3M also, as the lace or the, as the tongue label things often are on Ultra Boost. And then past that, there's really nothing else to say about the shoe. One of the cool little things I noticed a minute ago, you got the that 
neon orange is the same kind of orange that's on the bottom for that torsion system. And then on the inside, you've got a colorful sole. Same, same thing going on over here. And again, this shoe is exactly the same, minus the fact that it has the red. I mean, excuse me, the blue instead of this one, like it has the red. So that really is about it as far as the look of these go. So I'm curious how they're going to feel, how they're going to fit all that stuff, because as I said, I don't have any climbers. So I am going to figure that out real quick. And I'll be back with the on foot. So give me a second. So we are back. Just got done trying these things on right here. They actually feel really good. Oh, actually, let me move so that I have room for the videos. Um, but yeah, so these actually feel really good. Like, I mean, no, nothing against the normal Ultra Boost or whatever. But these, that thinner style that they went with on here and making them extra breathable, you, you can move your feet around a lot more freely within these. So yeah, I kind of like them. Um, I'm not a huge fan of white shoes, honestly. I've said that before, but in this particular case, I you know, had to make an exception because, you know, every so often it's nice to get something a little limited or whatever. Not just because it's limited, but, you know, it just works out that way. So I did, uh, did walk around in these. They feel otherwise very much fit-wise, like past Ultra Boost. I went with my normal 9.5 size on these. They fit exactly like I wanted them to, so no complaints out of me. And I don't really have a whole lot else to say about them. And I will say one thing that was a little weird. On the side of the box and everything, it says, and here's the tag, it says, my, uh, my Ultra Boost. That probably wasn't focusing very much, but I'll get you another close-up in a second here. But yeah, so it says, my Ultra Boost Climber, which usually is, when I've seen my, it's for, uh, the customized ones when you could go in there and use that very limited customization that they would give you on some of the uh multicolored ultra boosts and all that that they were doing for whatever that's that was all about which i didn't do because it was just the, the amount of money they wanted for what it was just to me it wasn't worth it but anyway so as far as these go these soul 19 or these 1988 soul ultra boost climbers very nice very nice they feel great i am kind of wishing that I had bought some of the climbers now, honestly, but whatever. It is what it is. I don't have a whole lot of shoe regrets. Like, the things I don't have, I've just accepted not having them because I've got a whole bunch of other crap. Anyway, so let me get you up close to that box I was talking about so you can see what I meant. Right there on the side. Is it in there? Yeah. It says my Ultra Boost instead of just the normal Ultra Boost, so, you know, just a little odd in, in my opinion but so that's going to be it for the for the review and everything not a whole lot else to say about this but here's another shot of it just in case you want that close up let's get that right there for you so yeah there you have it this is the 1988 soul ultra boost climber pretty decent shoe pretty decent shoe uh if you i don't know if they're gonna do a wider release i'm guessing not but you know if you want them they're out there stock eggs and goat and whatnot all right that's it for me I got one other review that I'm going to do today. I bought three pairs of shoes today, but I'm only doing one other review today. At least that's what I'm telling myself right now. All right. I got to go knock that out. I will see you guys again soon. Thanks for watching and all that stuff that you guys do. Appreciate it. All right. See you later.